Right, hey guys, my name is Ray. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a whack load of amazing non-member items. In my opinion, these items are worthy of being member only, that's just how cool they look. These items are non-rare, most of them are AC tagged, and they're absolutely awesome. Additionally, they're all in one map, so all I have to do is farm there and you'll get these. You can be level 10 and you can look like a badass. So without further stalling, let's get right into the video in 3, 2, 1, Super Saiyan. so derpy you can do so many cool things with it so the map you're going to want to join is called slash join midnight war now you're probably familiar with this map because it came out this year's tlepd talk like a pirate day i myself was shocked to find out that this is not going rare because this map is full of really really cool piratey themed non-member gear so right off the bat you have an npc here you can go ahead and talk to him and click on quests and you'll have a quest called bring me huge bound Bountless of the Black Veil and Bring Me Bounty of the Black Veil. Both of them have different things. From this one, you can simply get a Curse, Naval Blood and Blade, and a pet. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if this pet is um, non member, but I'm pretty sure it is. So, here right off the bat, you can get yourself a free pet for non members. Pretty cool. Uh, and here you have a bunch of stuff. You have basically a full set. Um, the Spirit of Shinobi is actually what I'm wearing right now, it's like that, that Japanese symbol. Uh, the Lycan Shinobi Scarf and the Lycan Spirit Katana, those are really cool um, items and the armor itself is amazing. So basically what you have to do is you um, you can accept the quest and you're going to have to walk a little bit. So um, there's two sides to this map. There's the basically the werewolf side, so you have like wolf pirates everywhere. Uh, and then you have the other side which are vampire pirates. Um, for this quest in particular, you're going to want to come to this side. You have a black veil pirate right here. Uh, the preferable room to farm in is uh, the room where there's three pirates, so right here. Uh, preferably use a multi-target class, and if you farm these, you have to kill uh, you have to kill these guys three times in a row. And uh, you turn in the quest, and you have uh, pretty high chances of getting one of those four items that I just mentioned. Um, now, same thing on the other side of the map. Um, the pirate, the vampire pirate captain. Uh, has a quest, and if you click on her and accept her quest, she'll give you a whole entire different uh, set of items for non-members, and I believe they're all free AC tagged. So uh, once again, you can accept this and walk all the way to the other side of the map and kill some of those um, werepire, sorry, not werepire, werewolf pirates, and uh, turn those in. And right off the bat, you have some really, really amazing looking sets uh, for non-members. So I highly recommend you farm these quests. Um, I don't know how much percent the drops are for the quests, but uh, I farmed it out for a little bit and I managed to get it. So you can farm those two quests out and there's more. You can also actually, while you're farming these monsters, they will also drop a bunch of stuff, okay? Um, both the um, wolf pirates and the vampire pirates will uh, drop some cool items on top of the quests. Now, if you go all the way to the left here on a ship, you'll find a boss called Flint Fang. Now this boss is really, really cool because he has a bunch of amazing, amazing drops. Um, now grab a few friends, come here and farm him. Um, I'll actually put a few of his items that I prefer that he drops on screen right now for you to take a look at. These items are some of my favorites and uh, I wear them quite frequently. Um, one of them is actually the bandana I'm wearing. It's very, very cool. So uh, yeah, farm him out, he drops some amazing stuff. Honestly, all you have to do is just sit here and kill him for a little bit. And uh, at the same time, if you accept the vampire quest, you're also killing that extra NPC in here, extra monster. So you're gaining your quest thing while farming the boss. Um, there are, he does have some 1% drops, but uh, he does drop some really, really cool stuff. So this is the place you're going to want to come to if you're new to AQW, literally come here right away, get yourself some awesome gear and then go do the story. Because this map will not be going rare, and uh, it's all pirate themed of course, but it's amazing non-member free loot for you. And uh, there must be over a hundred different items you can get from this map. So that's it, I hope you guys uh, liked this suggestion. Um, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video, that's it for today. Follow me on social media, all those links will be down below in the description. Comment your thoughts down below, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Take care.